Hey everyone, welcome to Diamond Painting with Tessa. I got a Diamond Art Club package today and there are two diamond paintings in here. Ooh, we got a little chewed up, looky there. Looks like the diamond paintings inside are perfectly fine though. Um, we're just gonna open one on this video and then I will open the other on a video in the future. But there are two diamond paintings in here, so let's Get this bad boy open while I'm opening this I just want to say thank you for stopping by my channel um, any support as far as watching my videos liking my videos sharing subscribing all of that is greatly appreciated and I just want to thank anybody who continues to come and watch my videos as well your continued support means the world to me so let's see what we've got here I think I know what's in here. These are both going to be square diamonds. The blue branding is going to show you that it's squares. There's pink lines and pink branding when it's round. Which way do these go? This way. We've got butterfly and delphinium. Oh my gosh, there's a glare. That window is behind me. It's like a beautiful flower landscape with like pretty butterflies I've never ever done a landscape but I've decided that I want like a seasonal piece and it has to be in this um landscape cut not portrait um I decided I want like a big landscape portrait or landscape cut not necessarily a landscape scene if that makes sense uh for seasonal to hang above my tv and as the seasons change I'll change it out so this will be my like spring one. And then I also grabbed Erase. I just, I don't know why I love this one so much, but every single time I came to it, I would go back to it and I just like, it was getting uh, low in stock and I kind of got sad about it. And I was like, man, what if I miss out on this? And I thought, you know what? If you're having those thoughts, you probably want it, just get it. But my dogs are ringing the bell. I'm going to let them out real quick and we'll unbox one. Okay, I just gave those dogs a bath and haircuts, and I guarantee they're going to go out there and get, like, muddy. So, that'll be my life. Which one do we unbox? Looks like they're the same size. I'm going to unbox the landscape right now because I've actually just, like I said, I've never done a landscape. And I kind of just want to see the canvas and just want to, you know, check it out. So, let's get the plastic off these boxes. And if you've never shopped with Diamond Art Club before, there's all kinds of discount codes you can get. Uh, there's one on the side of the box when you make your first purchase. If you scan that QR code, it will unlock a 10% off um, coupon for you. And you'll see more coupon codes inside as well. Let's see. First, we've got our toolkit. Oh, and our little sticker popped out. It does come with a smaller size sticker. You can see it peels here. Some people use this for their log book to take, uh, keep track of the diamond paintings that they've done. Other people use it to mark their drills if they keep them separate. Some people put it on the end of their box if they store their boxes this way so they can see what's in there. But that's a little bit better image of that picture. It's just really pretty flowers with these monarch butterflies. So let's see what fun stuff we got in our toolkit i'm not going to go through the whole toolkit i've done that on multiple videos now i will go through the things that vary in the kit this is a square kit so i did get tweezers in here looks like i got a really pretty like magenta pen which means my grippy will also be that color so really pretty like magenta reddish pen my washi oh we just got this one in another in another um kit it is like a really pretty blue floral washi tape. I actually really love this one, so I'm not sad I got a duplicate. And I got another macaron, but I don't have a pink one yet. So this one is a pink macaron, macaroon. I can never say it right. I never know how to say it. So that is the kit. There is more in this kit, but if you wanna see everything inside of a kit, you can look at a different one of my unboxings and I go through the kit. So let's take a look at the canvas because that's what we're all here to do, is it not? 
Let's see, all your canvases come in <clears throat> a, blast, a plastic dust cover bag that is branded with Diamond Art Club, Do What Makes You Sparkle, that's their slogan. Um, and it folds over and sticks, and that's how it's sealed shut. And we will pull it out here. I think I will store this one back in the box just because I normally store mine on um, clip hangers, but my, I'm out of clip hangers. Oh yeah, this is, this is landscape. It's gonna go this way. Woohoo, I'm excited. This is gonna have really pretty colors in it. Ooh, look how pretty that is. I'm gonna have to roll this the other way. This is an older kit, not like a new release. So it has the old plastic on it that's not perforated, which is perfectly fine. I don't mind working either way. But I'm going to roll this the other way real quick and kind of flatten out this uh, plastic so it'll lay flat quicker. Okay, if you just roll this the opposite way, which you can because this is poured glue, it's not double-sided adhesive. Just kind of really give it a little squeeze there. Yeah, that is a lot better already. And I'm gonna smooth this plastic out. Plastic is so much thinner. I just use this to kind of get any air bubbles out. and stuff and then we're gonna quickly do that to the other half here see how wavy it is it's just where this plastic is pulled back so the canvas can relax okay and this helps you don't have to do this step these are self-flattening canvases. If you just let them lay out for a little while, they'll kind of flatten themselves out. But um, I think it just helps to get it done faster for the sake of these videos. Okay. All right. Now, there we go. That's a little better. It's still got a little bit of a kink in it, but that'll flatten out. All right, we will go over what comes inside your box. This lighting is awful right now. I'm sorry, my bright light burnt out right before I started filming. And let me move these two things. And the natural light is um, coming in from kind of behind me. So I wonder if I can come in a bit. And no, because then you can't get the whole canvas. That's better. Okay. So inside your box, you're gonna get a pamphlet. I go over this in every video too, so I'm not gonna really go over it too much. But it's got a thank you note, some tips and tricks and how to diamond paint inside. Also has some QR codes to take you to the app in the app store on either whether you have Android or iPhone. And then you get your sticker sheet here. This, there's a beautiful picture of that image. It's the delphinium flower and then just lots of butterflies. I think it's so pretty and springy. So this will be great for springtime to hang up. It's got the title, start and end date, your artist, um, which is Wanda Mum. And then this is square diamonds and here's the size. These are all your colors. This tells me I have 54 colors and it looks like I have one, two, three, four ABs. Any, 
any DMC code under the number 150 is going to be in AB. So 100, 101, 127, and 141. And those are going to be my specialty drills in here. And yeah, so here's your drills. Your bag is labeled with the name of the art on there. So if you do keep them separate, you know which goes with what. Let's look at those beautiful spring color spread. These are so much prettier in person, like because that looks peach, but it's really like a really pretty powder pink. So the lighting, like I said, is not the best, but I wish I can't turn my flash on for some reason, but okay, I'm going to get these out of the bag and then we'll be right back. Okay, here's our beautiful drills. These colors really are stunning. We'll just start with the first train. Lots of multi bags here. This is like a rich royal blue. You're not going to get true colors on this lighting, but two bags of that 797, three bags of that 935. It's a dark green. Three bags of 469. Here's our first AB. Lots of that. A real chopped full bag of that light blue AB. Lots of greens and blues in here. Two bags of $7.98, two bags of $7.99, two bags of $5.81. There's another AB, it's one two seven. It's like a really pretty peach AB. Really, this is like a really bright magenta fuchsia kind of color. Like I said, you can't really see the colors. These light teals are so pretty. Just one tiny bag of 310. Two bags of that 934, which is, I think it's like a dark brown. Sorry, apparently my dogs want to come back in now. And this is our train of smaller amounts of color. One four one, that's our white AB. And 100. It's a green AB. Really pretty. Um, since I've never shown it before, I'm going to show you guys how I get these drills back into this bag for storage purposes because I see a lot of people who don't like to take them out because they say, oh, I'm, I struggle so much getting them back in. So I'm going to show you how I do it because I don't feel like I struggle too much and I feel like they always go back in pretty well. Um, I kind of see how wide the bag is. And I'm going to apologize for the crinkling now, but it's not quite four. So I'm going to do three and I just fold it accordion style, like three, and then I'll fold it this way and then I'll fold it back and then I'll fold it back like that with these smaller packages. I just keep folding it backwards instead of like around and around. That's two of them. This one's very small, so it just will fold like this. So those are the smaller ones and they're all kind of accordion folded back and forth, back and forth. And then this big one we're going to fold around the outside to keep them all together. So we just kind of flip them this way and I just go around and around and around. I just kind of squeeze it to try to keep it together. Okay, 
So that's kind of all your drills. Then we get our bag. Okay. And we're going to slip them back in. And I kind of double hand it here and squeeze them so they don't fall out of the middle there. Because they like to do that. So there they are. In the bag. And I just fold this open in. This is the sticky side, okay? So I fold the front kind of around it, give it a little squeeze, and I just roll it. Make sure the sticky part is straight and it's not bent over on itself. And I just keep rolling it. And there you have it. They're back in the bag. They're pretty good in there. Pretty organized. And that's how I get them back in this bag. And then I actually use this sticker because I don't typically keep mine in the box. And I just stick it on here. So I know which drills go there super easily by looking at the picture. I am gonna be putting this one back in the box, but okay. So we did that. Let's look at see where our specialty drills go. Our first one is that light green AB that we saw. It's gonna be symbol number one, and it's the lightest green in all this greenery. So this light green patch here, little light green patches here and right here, little tiny bit here, these lightest green, this lightest green, um, little tiny bit here, bunch in the middle of these flowers, the lightest green you see there, um, some light green here on this stem, these super light green patches, you see those? Big light green patch up here. There's a tiny bit at the top of these flowers. A little bit here. The lightest green patches up here in these leaves. Anywhere you see that really light green. Our second one is that light blue AB, that one we had a pretty big bag of. Um, it's symbol number two. So it's going to be the lightest blue on the edge of these petals, kind of in the middle and on the edges. It's in the middle of this one. It's on the edge of this one. This here, around the middle here, a little bit sprinkled in the middle of this flower. Here on the edges of these petals to highlight here, up here. And the same with this stalk. Everywhere you see that really light blue right on the edges of the petal where the light's going to hit. Here and here. And then all around the edge, this light blue edge of this flower and the light blue edges of all these flowers. Um, there's a lot in this one. Mixed in all this light blue here. All mingling throughout this flower bunch. And there's a ton sprinkled into the sky as well in the light blue patches you see kind of in the background. My son's playing Fortnite if you hear him scream. And then number three was that like peachy AB. And it's going to be highlighting these pink flowers. So the really light areas on the edges of these pink flowers. Same for these pink flowers, the, the very edges here. Um, let's see, is there any in this one? Yeah, a little bit here at the top of this one. Some here. There's a lot sprinkled in the really light areas going around the edges of the holes of these flowers, the tops of these little buds. And our last one is 141. It is the white AB. It's symbol number four. It's also kind of sprinkled in the edges of these flowers here. It's also the white dots in this monarch butterfly's wings and the white dots of this monarch butterfly's wings. It's sprinkled all throughout the white areas of this flower bunch. Um, little bit in the tops of these little flower buds at the top of the stalk. And that looks like it is about it. So again, this is from Diamond Art Club and it is Butterfly and Delphinium. It's 30 inches wide by 22 inches tall and it is by Wanda Mum. This is my first landscape and so I'm really excited to do it. I love the color palette on this. 
um, really pretty blues and pinks and greens. I love the butterflies sprinkled in. I just think this will be gorgeous to be a spring piece to hang in my home. And one last look here at the thumbnail to give you an idea of what that finished photo is going to look like. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for stopping by my channel.